Gambari tells Nigerian civil servant to imitate Buhari. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Mr. Gambari said Mr. Buhari's decision to contest the 2015 presidential election was to correct the ills in public service observed during his dictatorship. Ibrahim Gambari, President Mohammed Buhari, Chief of Staff, has told officers and the Directorate, Kadri, and the Federal Civil Service to imitate the President's leadership traits. Mr. Gambari spoke on Tuesday in Abuja at the opening of a two day workshop on Code of Ethics and a practical guide on how to complete an asset declaration form. He lauded his principal's leadership style and consistency in fighting corruption and insecurity. I am emphasizing this because of its consistency in the diagnosis of the biggest problem, drawing us back as a nation and preventing us from realizing our true potential. Mr. Gambara explained, Those challenges are addressing the insecurity of our nation, growing the economy and the anti-corruption fight. There you have it, Mr. Ibrahim Gambara, the Chief of Staff of the President, has said that civil servants should imitate Buhari um, uh, I thought he was going to be more specific. Okay, he said emphasizing this because of his consistent in the diagnosis of the biggest problems, drawing us back as a nation, preventing us from realizing our true potential. Those challenges are insecurity of our nation, growing the economy and the anti-corruption fight. Wow. <laughs> Why is this man like this? Eh? Do you know these statements can get this man sacked? The, the insecurity fight in Nigeria, we all know that it has not been solved. In fact, it, they have not touched it. It is still looking as if nothing has, has been done. I don't know in this administration, the equal busyness to productiveness, which is not supposed to be. They are busy without having result of being busy. You are just busy. You are a busy bee. Okay, they'll come and say, oh, that they have a lot of hardware when it comes to ammunition and, you know, used to fight the Boko Haram. And I'm saying it is possible for you now to start equipping the Nigerian army from now, or maybe the next person now equips Nigeria from now to when it's going to be um, completed. Steno, that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, nothing in particular will change. Why? Increasing their power when it comes to resources does not equal to them doing the job well. It does not. Economically, how has he improved Nigeria? We are seeing that the policies are continuing to fail. The policies are continuing to fail. They are continuing to fail on every side. All the policies that they are, it is why? Because he has continued to put in people that he knows. He has continually sacrificed merit on the altar of favoritism, on the altar of nepotism. See, anybody that comes into Nigeria today and becomes Nigeria's president after Mr. Buhari, do you know what to happen? If the person wants to succeed, when it comes to any sector, finance, economical, infrastructural, transportation, any sector, he will not pick people he knows. In fact, he can even go as far as bringing in experts that will say, See, you know what, come and help me pick the ones. Come and help me pick the ones. Yes, it will show that no, this man wants to work. And they will sign an agreement that if this thing did not, does not work for some time, you will go. If your policies are not working, you're going to bring in somebody else that will, that his or policies will help Nigeria to be better. If you don't have somebody who is going to be critical like that, yes, people will look at him, uh, 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 but this man is, a, that is if you're in that position, be like, this man is too harsh. He's too harsh, he's too harsh, but what, that's what Nigeria needs. When it comes to the economic sector, I mean, if, to the debt management sector, he's going to also tell them that if you do not do your job, you will go. 
when it comes to the infrastructure sector, he will also tell them, if I hear that any road that is being done, and at the end of the day, in the next year or two years, the road gets bought, even state-wise, he will tell them, governors, they will have it in their, in their modus operandi. If you do a road and that, anybody who is supposed to manage that road, when it comes to infrastructure, what is going to happen? You will. This is the punishment. That is the kind of thing Nigeria needs. So that they have no reason but to be forced to do their work well. You think these people cannot do their work well? They can. They don't just want to. They want to keep Nigeria where it is because they are benefiting from our ignorance. They are benefiting from our tears. They come out each day and tell you, oh, it got to me. I send my condolences when it comes to security. Never. It's not getting to them. They are sleeping peacefully. How would they know? They are not bothered. The only ones that bother them is when maybe somebody of their own, it touches them. If they are bothered about what is happening in the North, they are going to create a system that will make the Northerners enlightened. Those people fight and those people who are the Boko Haram, they, are, they were once upon people of a North who knew nothing, who felt they have been betrayed. Let's find out more about this. Let's continue. Please stay with us. He added that the reason I am going into this details is to show you leadership by example and now that you are directors, you will play a very pivotal role in the public service of this country. Mr. Gambari said Mr. Buhari's decision to contest the 2015 presidential election was to correct the ills in public service observed during his dictatorship between 19